Welcome back guys to a new series on Minecraft. I'm gonna be, uh, it's called UHC Tactics and Survival as you can tell by the world name. I'm gonna be, uh, I guess teaching, I'm not much of a teacher, but uh, giving you guys tips and hints on UHC. You guys know that very well I hope. UHC is the um, competition that our server has and the Minecraft server does every now and then where we basically uh, gear up fight to the death uh, but the catch is no health regen so let's get started by creating the new world cheats are on just in case this isn't gonna be a completely vanilla uh, <clears throat> series because obviously there is, there will be times when I need to uh, teach you guys things and I'll have to cheat to do it, so. Anyways, <clears throat> oh man, groggy voice, groggy voice. Uh, let's go game rule. Oh yeah, I need cheat modes, uh, cheat mode because of this. Natural health regen, false. There we go. Now as you can see, um, I can't really hurt myself, but if I could, I would not be regaining any um, any health back? Let's fix my video settings real quick. All right. Well, not fix, but make sure everything is a-okay. -okay. Set day, uh, time set zero. Officially begin. And so, the first thing you want to do. Oh, oh, right, right, right. Uh, this is 1.7. So we have all the new biomes. I've never actually done UHC, or we've never done UHC in 1.7 or an official one at least. We had a um, few impromptu ones. Anyways, to the point, the first thing you want to do, um, as all people who play Minecraft do by natural instinct, is go punch some wood. Go punch uh, a few trees down, preferably oak wood. Uh, why? Because from there, or from them, you can get saplings. Uh, you just, I guess punching one tree is good enough. It helps if you have a team but the next thing you want to do is get a uh, pickaxe going and then dig down quick. Be, you gotta be real quick about these things. Uh, let's see, 1044. I gotta keep track of time just in case I'm down here mining and uh, I lose track of time. I like to keep it like a, a day night uh, day night per episode. Anyways, you want to just grab a few cobble Right now, I mean, you know, I could calculate how much, exactly how much uh, cobble I need, but the time is really, the time you take to mine cobble is not really that much of a difference. Just get a, a few pieces. The sun is still good. The main thing you want to use uh, your planks for in the beginning is sticks. All right. Here's a little trick I like to do. Bam. And uh, I guess get you a sword going. Now you have your basic tools. Now you'll never be needing this thing again. All right. So no apples from that. OK. Well, hopefully if you're on teams, uh, your teammates will be collecting food. If not, one of the things you really, really want to do is collect food. Uh, that's even more important than uh, getting apples because without food you will die. Luckily we seem to have stumbled upon quite a bit of uh, cows. So, alright, so over there is spruce or probably it looks like extreme hills. So let's not head that way. What's over here? Ocean. Alright. Uh, but yeah, you want to probably kill all the cows, all the animals you see. Um, reason, within reason, you know. Don't like travel hundreds and hundreds of blocks just to kill one pig. Uh, but yeah, any animal you see that gives food, kill it. 
you're not don't need to breed it and seeds my opinion on uh, farming like uh, seeds and whatnot is that uh, oh what am I doing it's it's not worth it it really isn't because uh, uh, that's a forest over there it's not worth it at all because I mean I guess you could get a few seeds and uh, plant them whenever you go caving but I mean I've I never eat bread even in real minecraft you know or regular minecraft I don't eat bread unless I find it in a mine shaft or something you know so yeah it looks like that's just about all the food I can Ooh, here's some more it's about midday so yeah usually what I do is I see I actually have started off just a, a bit wrong uh, a bit uh, not how I would prefer I, what I usually like to do is in the beginning just chop a whole bunch of trees down um, we are not in I an ideal area for that. Ooh, getting wood. And that is because this is a... that those are the majority of the trees. What you always want to do is try to find oak trees and just chop those down. If you're in a swamp that's even better because those trees have a, a lot of leaves on them. And uh, those leaves drop apples. These leaves drop apples too from this dark oak but there's just so much wood on dark oak. It's gonna take forever just to chop one tree down. So yeah, it would have been um, the best case scenario is spawning next to a hunter. Uh, pff, a hun uh, how do I speak? Spawning next to a lot of uh, animals as well as a f oak forest or just a regular forest. Um, but yeah, always make sure to keep track of your time. Uh, you can do that by looking up if the sun is uh, about mi set about midday right now. So we have five-ish minutes left um, and uh, here's where things get a little uh, easy uh, all, all I'm doing right now is just collecting wood it's always nice to have lots of wood but uh, if you have teams then they can go and explore they can go try to find uh, villages they can try to find I don't know reeds or more animals and reeds that's a big thing you want to find too uh, man I wish yeah I can run see we don't I don't I haven't seen any reeds I'm not seeing any apples drop either and we still have about five ish minutes left half the day no reeds anywhere that's not good uh, I'd like to get three. That's all I need is three reeds. That's all you need. Uh, more is more is always nice, but uh, it's you know it's okay as long as you can get three or get your hands on three. I can't. Do they not spawn in this biome? I I'm pretty sure they spawn in just about every biome. I'm running out of hunger. Man, where are they? Come on, reeds. Reeds. Are they called reeds or sugar canes? Yeah, you don't want to spend too much time. Like I said, if you have a team, it is much easier because uh, they can go out and look for this stuff. If you're all by yourself, you gotta manage your time a bit more wisely. Uh, unlike me, <laughs> I spent uh, my earlier time killing animals rather than chopping down trees. Oh god, a little bit of lag. See, this is where I would have liked to spawn. I'm not going back to those trees. Um, all right, come on, reeds. Hmm. Oh, I'm getting a low frames. That's okay. That's just my uh, load worlding. Load worlding. Load. Whoa. World loading. Excuse me. There we go. All right. How much time do we have left in this day? Uh, a little bit of time. Let's kill some pigs. How many? Oh yeah, we have more than enough. There is a point where you you have enough food to last you a long time. And I've hit that point, so spend the rest of the day just chopping down uh, some trees. Hopefully, we can get one apple. That'd be nice. It's always uh, a good idea to get as many apples as you can. Uh, I 
your zombie. Maybe there's a zombie spawner. That'd be cool. Also, spawners. Be very careful of them. Or be very uh, weary of them. They're not a... Uh, they don't mean... Well, I don't know what I'm saying. Just be careful. Um, sometimes... I mean, it's always good to risk it, but... Be very, very careful, because that can be that can be the end of you. Like I remember the first season of UHC that I have ever had. With a sh I was teamed with Shorts. We found a skeleton spawner, and we decided to try and take that. It did not go so well. Shorts ended up dying in the process, and I lost a lot of health. And uh, that basically led to my demise. So yeah, be very, very careful. There's an apple. <laughs> Alright, I got that apple. Good. See, that's why it's... Oh, how much time do we have? Remember, always keep uh, keep an eye on that sun when you're above ground. And it's generally a bad idea to be above ground when it's nighttime, because you will get destroyed by mobs, especially these like super-powered... Uh, zombies or um, skeletons and these zombie hordes who they are not a fun thing so be careful yeah as I was saying about the uh, uh, spawners if you're careful they can uh, be very very rewarding I remember in one of my one of the UHC's I think it was the second one where I was all by myself uh, I was just exploring above ground trying to find people. I found a spawner and it had a golden apple in it and some more gold I believe. And that got me uh, a huge advantage. So yeah. Spawners can be very rewarding. Alright. So our first day is almost up. Let's, uh, yeah, let's destroy some of these leaves. Hopefully we can get something maybe. Maybe another apple would be nice. If not, that's fine, but uh, it'd be preferable. I tell you, I always uh, find so many apples when I'm playing regular uh, Minecraft, vanilla Minecraft. All right, so it's nighttime. Before things start spawning, uh, here's what you want to do: just do a little staircase. Uh, games, the games. The game rules tend to allow digging in a staircase, just not a... Sorry if you guys can hear that, that's loud people next door. Oh, well, they're not being loud, they're just going into their door. Into their door, I'm being, uh, I'm being nitpicky. Uh, it's not their fault, but yeah. Games tend to allow uh, you to staircase, it's just strip mining that uh, they don't allow. So, uh, staircase, that's that's the big thing you want to do. And uh, when you do that, make sure you do your darndest to try and get you know, torches going. Because you don't want to be staircasing and then uh, go back up only to be greeted by like uh, two skeletons and a million zombies or something, you know. Just to, in UHC, you have to be very, very, very careful about things. Um and very cautious about things too. And uh, I'll get into more um, cool stuff later on, but this is this is just a uh, just the first day, just uh, starting out. So, things you want to do when you first start out on a UHC match. And uh, basically what the the use of this is to try and get more um, materials you want to gear up as fast as you can meaning a uh, gear up in iron and you, this is also very useful for finding caves you can uh, I thought I heard lava uh, you can sometimes hear lava and most games allow you to dig towards it or um, at least all the ones I've played with my server we that's acceptable as you can uh, hear there's stuff above me one two three four 
Now, I like to make a lot of uh, furnaces, and that is because it makes it very efficient, or uh, it saves you a lot of time on uh, doing stuff. So, let's see. We have a lot of wood. Let's try and uh, turn it into coal or charcoal. Yeah, un also another good reason to get a lot of wood is because um, you can turn it to charcoal in case you don't find coal. Which uh, I thought I did. Is there not a vein here? What am I doing? Here's my shovel. Here we go. Here's the vein. Oh, this is the ocean over here. Okay. So yeah, you hear a lot of bad stuff, don't you? So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do that. <gasps> Whoa. Now that's luck. Alright, so I've made a little uh, mob trap of sorts. Uh, hopefully skeletons can't shoot me from here. Yeah. Let's see if I can get some uh, spiders to die. I guess not. Bows are very useful. It's something I'd like to uh, have at my disposal. Alright. Ah. Very nice. So yeah, this is just a little mob trap. If zombies fall in, then uh, that's free food for me. Alright, so we have some charcoal. Let's cook up our, our goodies. Mmm. Meat. Yummy, yummy meat. Alright. Cook up the rest of this food. We should have enough food to last us a long, long time. So, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're... We're doing A-OK -okay right now. We currently have uh, all our foods, all our health as well. Mm. We'll have to try and uh, get in there somehow. <laughs> but we can, we can. Actually, let's make an axe and axe. We can keep on exploring this. And I want to make that. Yes. Torches. Always need torches. So yeah, usually I like to dig to Y11. Uh, even if I find a cave. And if you have teammates, then it's even better because you can all uh, branch off in your own direction. And uh, just double or triple your mining efficiency. Didn't mean to do that. Alright. Let's get up this uh, get this iron iron is um a, you're probably probably the major ist the most major i don't know how you'd say that very major resource in this uh, in UHC is that gravel gravel's also useful if you guys have nothing to do just uh, start graveling away shoveling away some gravel try to get some flint so you can get arrows for your bows because I guarantee you, you will not get in. Well, okay, I don't. There's a chance you can get a infinity, but it's uh, not a very big one. What have we found here? Another reason why it's good to keep going. You'll find more caves. The more caves, the better. Also, the more dangerous as well. But look at all that iron, huh? This is a ravine. At what level? 26. That's gold level. Gold is very important in this game. So yeah, pretty neat. We have found two ravines. Let's go back up and get our food.